Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, so I'm here to share with you guys my OSCP journey 2023, how I managed to pass uh, to pass the OSCP within three months and on first try. Now let's look at the overall timeline. Okay, for the first month of January to February, I started with Try Hack Me three main modules um, to be exact the first is linux privilege escalation windows privilege escalation as well as active directory basics followed by 25 machines uh, which varies from easy medium and hard okay i feel that these three modules are very important um, as a base so that um, uh, and this is also the core um, one of the main stuff that you are required to know at your fingertips when uh, doing the exam later on okay why i started with 25 machines first because i want to have the feel of um, how pen tests work okay and no doubt for the other 25 machines uh, rather uh, be it easy medium and hard i look through the uh, walkthrough and try to understand how it works and how to approach these machines okay and it's okay to do that i will explain it later on okay followed uh, uh the following month uh, of february to march i started my oscp training materials there are a total of 23 chapters with flags to submit on each topic exercises and I completed all of the chapter exercises. I do recommend you guys to complete every single chapter in those exercises. And yes, I understand that it's, uh, it is considered a lot, 23 chapters, and very lengthy, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, the following month of March to April, I started my OSCP labs, uh, and I completed 50 machines in total. And then um, after that, during May, I uh, took my 48 hours exam and uh, in the email they mentioned that they will update the result within 10 days. But for myself, I received my results within three days. Okay. Now, I will go through in depth and try to be as detailed as possible for you guys to follow my method. The first one is Try Hack Me, which is this section. Okay. These are the three modules that I mentioned earlier together with the image so that when you guys uh, look it up on Try Hack Me, it will be easier for you to uh, identify. So I recommend to complete these three modules as a form of base so that you know that, oh, Linux brief as, how are, what am I supposed to look out for, what are the things, what are the tools, uh, same goes for Windows brief as and Active Directory Basics as well. And like I said, I on top of that, I did 25 machines uh, from easy, medium, hard. And at this point of time, it is okay to look at the walkthrough. Okay, if you are stuck like for two or three hours, then look at the walkthrough. It is fine. It is okay. Okay, I will also recommend you guys to actually uh, subscribe per month, um, 1050, which is pretty cheap for only a month knowing that the end result you are going to pass your OSCP. So um, I think that 1050 is a small amount um, for the bigger price. Okay, but if you choose not to, then no worries, these uh, modules are technically free. Okay, uh, and uh, what I meant by uh, subscribing is if you want to try boxes that are only uh, available for VIPs, then you can subscribe. If you do not want it, then it's fine. Just do the free boxes will do. Okay, uh, for my offset training materials, as you can see, uh, okay, on the left hand side, these are the chapter, these are the modules, okay, from chapter one all the way until chapter 24. Okay, and then on this side, this is the PDF uh, text format where they will explain to you um, um, about that particular topic. Okay, and then you can see that um, next to it is the video section. So video section is usually a summary of what you have read uh, in the text format. So it's, uh, it's something that it, it repeats what you have learned. Okay. So, and the following um, column is exercises. This is uh, the exercises that I mentioned. Okay, for every exercises, you are supposed to get a flag and submit it. Okay, um, I will explain to you why this is needed. 
Okay, as you can see, I actually completed all of, all of the exercises for all the 24 chapters. Okay, and then you can see that this is during the 2022. Uh, okay, and then this is 2023. Why? It's because while I was doing the offset, they did update the syllabus uh, to include the Active Directory. So I was in the middle of that change. Okay, hence you can see that um, 2022 I did 38 machines, 2023 uh, they updated it to 12 machines. So if you can see 12 plus 38, I did a total of 50 machines which uh, I mentioned earlier on here. Okay, a total of 50 machines. Okay, uh, and then for the video section, just know that uh, it is not compulsory for you to watch but I would suggest once you have read the text, you have attempted the exercise, uh, feel free to look at the video as it summarizes the entire course, uh, the entire chapter, I mean. Okay? And then, okay, how to pass the OSCP exam? Just do a quick recap for you guys. So, um, in order to get the 10 bonus points, okay, you are supposed to submit at least 80% of the correct solutions. 80% of this section. Okay, as you can see here, you are supposed to uh, solve 80%. For example, if there are 10 questions here, you are supposed to uh, complete 9 out of 10, okay, to play safe. Okay, on top of that, you are supposed to submit 30 correct um, proof.txt hashes which means that um, for this section okay you are supposed to complete at least 30 machines together with 80% for every exercises for all the chapters okay I repeat you are supposed to uh, complete 30 machines plus 85% of topic exercises for all the topics okay it's not 85% uh, in general but 85% for every single topic in order to receive your 10 bonus points this is really really helpful uh, when you are taking your OSCP exam knowing that you have 10 points in your hands okay so you have 10 points here and then plus the OSCP exam and then you are supposed to get 70 points at least to pass right so these are the scenarios to pass I would recommend you to always uh, to try your best to get the 10 points from the lab exercises mentioned earlier here okay you try your best to get the 10 points uh, because uh, it seems that it is way easier to do that way once you receive these 10 points these are the three permutations that uh, you can do in order to pass the exam okay uh, so you have 40 points or 80 set okay there are three machines within this 80 set please note that you are supposed to get the flag for every machine okay and reach all the way to the DC compromise to the DC then you will get the 40 points okay so even if you compromise machine 1 machine 2 you get the flags for it but you did not get the flag for DC 1 okay DC means domain controller you will not get the 40 points. Hence, this is a very heavy component. Okay, the previous exam format, they have a buffer overflow, which was removed, and then they replace it to an AD set. So, uh, I would recommend when you do your exam, straight away tackle your AD set, try to get the 40 points, right? And then once you have your 40 points, plus your 10 points, you have 50. You need 20 points. So, all you need to do now is just to attack one box, get a local txt for 10 points proof txt of 10 points once you compromise those you get 20 points and you have passed your exam another permutation is assume that you are unable to brief escalation uh, to get your proof txt you can get until local txt which is a lower privilege user and then another box you get a lower privilege user so you still pass the exam okay and then one more if you choose not to do the AD set of 40 points, maybe you did not prepare enough or you just uh, not good at AD, okay, you can just um, score the three non-AD boxes, okay? So it means non-AD box 1, box 2, box 3, you need to uh, 
be able to have the initial access to get a local txt and then brief s to get a proof txt now this is um the uh, most dangerous path for me i feel because assume that you are very confident you can um, attack all the three non ad boxes and then uh, apparently one of the boxes is very hard and then you are stuck with only two four five fifty points you need another 20 points but you are unable to do so automatically you will fail the exam so these two are the ideal for me okay as an advice you do your 10 points at least do an ad set compromise the ad set and then do one full non ad or you split it to uh, local txt for uh, non ad box one and local txt of non ad box two i hope you understand what i'm trying to say if you do not then let me know in the comment section Okay, these are the five key takeaways um, I would like to share with you. Okay, the top, uh, the first two are the main points that I want to share. First, perseverance. Okay, of course, all of us are working hard to get our OSCP. Uh, but remember, while working hard, you need to have your ample rest, repeat, and have the right mindset to, to do this. Okay, the second part is the part that I struggled the most. Uh, because when doing the boxes, I have no idea what to do next. Okay, and then I refrain myself from checking the hints. That is a problem. Okay, uh, what I mean is uh, if you are stuck for like two, three hours, or even five, six hours, go and check the hints. Okay, because you have to understand that learning means acknowledging our knowledge gaps. Okay, for sure that we do not know anything, uh, we don't, we do not know everything, right? So, um, we do definitely need, uh, we do have to learn something anyway, correct? We do not know what we do not know. So, if you are stuck for some time, it's okay to check the hints, okay? Um, take notes from it and add it in your personal uh, notes, okay? Remember, it's okay to stuck, just check the hints and add that particular knowledge to your notes, okay? Bottom three are also the core base, okay? First one is using the Discord channel. Okay, if you're stuck, look at the discussions. For example, you're doing uh, an, a machine of IP address.123. You're stuck, right? So once you're stuck, you look at the discussion and then um, they, will, um, they will share with you uh, their progress. But do take note that they do not tell you what you are supposed to do step by step. Most of the time, 99.9%, .9%, they will just um, ask you uh, and give you hints. After all, we are doing a, a professional certification, right? So do not expect to get direct answers from the admins or from the discussions, okay? Just know that at least you have something to look out for. Okay, next will be documentation. Now, this is very, very important. For every machine that you, uh, you did, okay? Learn how to uh, document it down. What I mean by that. So, for example, you do uh, your first ever machine. Okay, try to find a template on your own. Okay, do not rely on online templates, trust me. Do your own templates. Okay, for example, manual rec recon, automated recon, web recon, uh, initial foothold, proof.txt flag, uh, and then um, local.txt flag. So, do this kind of headers and then while you're doing the machine and you fill up the gaps accordingly okay learn how to do documentation learn how to take screenshots the moment you receive a reverse shell learn how to take screenshots preparing a reverse shell learn how to take screenshots okay this is very very important because once you have this habit um, then OSCP during the exam is a no problem to you Last but not least is your personal notes. I feel that this is very important because uh, for myself, I did on Word document and then I convert it to PDF. Okay, uh, trust me, uh, you do not rely on um, notes online that you find. Why? Because uh, every notes uh, are different. Uh, that's for sure. And then the notes that they did is only for themselves because that is what um, they do not know. But what you do not know, you might not might not be in the notes that you took it online. So what I suggest is you create your own note from scratch. Create a Word document, start from scratch, 
And then as you go by doing the machines, and then you realize, oh, for example, FTP. I do not know what to do when I when I encounter FTP port. So what you are supposed to do? Then you Google, and then uh, they will teach you. Uh, you are supposed to do enumeration on FTP, basic enumeration. Ah, so that skill, write it down, put it in your Word document, so that you can copy paste. Uh, if you ever meet FTP, um, a service again. That is what I meant. So as you go by, the more machines you do, the more your personal notes uh, will will be uh, will be filled. Okay, so that's very important. Um, and then you structure your your notes down. So it can be from uh, generic information followed by ports, common ports, what to do with the specific ports, and then maybe followed by password attacks. What are the Password attacks that you have faced. Okay, remember, do not copy paste from other people's personal notes or online notes because you might not need it, or um, it you don't even understand what he or she is trying to write. Okay, so do write your own personal notes. That's uh, my advice for sure. So I think that uh, these are my uh, five key takeaways, and I hope you guys uh, have learned something. Um, because I understand that there are many um, people out there that um, advise uh, differently, but this is what works for me, and I've passed it uh, within three months. So I hope you guys will get your OSCP, and then um, all the best. Thank you.